That's so cool. We can dance in it. Wait, if I pop it. <laughs> hey guys, it's Core Ross and Rome 6 News. So today we're breaking down Tubero. He is the new Rainbow Six Siege operator from Portugal in Rainbow Six Siege's next season. And I got to play him early access, so we're gonna break down how he works. And first off, I've got no idea how to properly pronounce his name. So the presentation we got was a guy uh, from Montreal, of course, with a very heavy French accent for our early access gameplay. So I'm gonna probably get his pronunciation wrong. But this guy's awesome. Like, I don't know if he's good, but he's so much fun. So I kind of actually think of this guy as reverse Goyu. And it's because he has a tube that he throws at a wall. It freezes everything in a big sphere around that area and you don't like place it and then shoot it or anything like that if you actually shoot it the canister goes away and the ice effect goes away as well so you throw it it goes on the wall it freezes everything around it the amazing thing is this works through solid walls so you can put this and you know it slows attackers down and stuff like that it doesn't do damage to them or anything but it does freeze their gadgets so this thing is going to have some amazing potential through surfaces that normally we wouldn't be able to have any impact through. But yeah, let's break it down. So of course this guy is a defender and his gadget is used against attackers, but it does impact friendly gadgets too. So we'll talk about that shortly. But what you can do with this thing is a range of stuff. So it can slow operators down just like say a Malusi gadget can if they get into the freezing effect. If the attackers shoot the gadget itself, the tube, the ice effect goes away entirely and they're back to being normal. But if they're in that freezing effect for long enough, they start to make a lot of noise and they start to breathe heavily and stuff like that, which can be heard by defenders. But no damage is done to the attacker and the freeze effect, like I say, can go through solid objects. So as long as you're in range, that freezing effect goes out in a sphere and it can go right through crazy amounts of surfaces to get to other sides of things and you can potentially freeze things on the other side. And that includes gadgets. So this guy's also anti-gadget, but not by destroying gadgets. He freezes them. So someone else has to come along like a Kaid or something like that to destroy the gadgets afterwards. But let's say that Thermite comes up against a reinforced wall, places his charge, sets it off. You can just be watching that wall. As soon as you see the sparks, you throw the gadget. It then freezes the Thermite charge on our side and stops it for a considerable amount of time. And then of course, got yourself a Kaid Bandit, take him out, easy peasy. Now, this does mean that this guy has to be on site if you're gonna do that, unfortunately. So you can't like pre-place the, the canisters or things like that. So I don't think he's gonna end up being like super powerful, but I will say because his gadget does have some pretty decent range to it, you could easily be roaming upstairs and throw his gadget above the reinforced walls to freeze the gadget. Like if, you know, communicating with Kaid and he says they're breaching now, you throw it, you would actually freeze it from a completely different level and then he could do his thing downstairs. So you could be off site. There definitely will be a range of tactics. And this guy is very versatile with the ability to freeze players and of course gadgets, that's pretty damn huge. So the other way he can be used is vertically. This means underneath, if you throw the canister up and freeze the floor above, so you'd be freezing the ceiling of your uh, roof, but the floor that the enemy is walking on, you can actually see their footprints as they walk around above you, which is huge. So he's kind of got a little bit of a pulse edge to him there as well. So then yeah, that's not a great way to potentially take out enemies, but he's not all good. So there's a big, big downside with him and that is he freezes defender gadgets as well. So let's say you are pulse and you're working with this guy and you both are work, you know, try to take out someone above you and you freeze first and then you try to throw a nitro cell up, the nitro cell will get frozen and it will not detonate. And this is gonna be a big downside to this operator and working with him. So you're gonna to have to learn when not to freeze stuff. Because of course, you could end up, let's just for, say for instance, freezing some bandit batteries or a Kaid and actually wrecking your anti-hard breach capabilities. So there's gonna be a lot to watch out for here. So he's not going to be a walk in the park. You're going to have to learn how to play this guy well. Now, another thing is that it impacts pretty much every single gadget that can be placed down, even frost traps. So a badly placed freeze canister can actually facilitate the enemy to get into an objective. So you really are going to have to watch out with this guy. But I think he is incredibly fun. I don't know if he's powerful yet, but he is a lot of fun. Now let's talk about his loadout. So he is a two speed, two health operator. He's gonna have the MPX SMG as a primary, of course, same as Valkyrie. It's a half decent uh, SMG. 
Then we've also got the AR15.50. This is Maverick's DMR. Now this thing is extremely weak because it only has like an 11 round magazine. So I'm not sure if it's going to end up being a good choice for him. Um, it might work out, but it's definitely a very small magazine. And then for secondary weapons, he just got the P226 Mark 25, a rather standard pistol. And then for secondary gadgets, he has the nitro cell and proximity sensor. So I would say overall that his loadout is rather mid tier. Now, when it comes to sights for the MPX, it's just one X is only, whereas the AR-15 does have the option of the 1.5. But I think the main strength here is definitely his gadget. Like I say, it's versatile, it's interesting, it's fun. Whether it ends up being powerful or useful, we will see. But definitely top tier fun. Now let's talk counters and synergies. So every single gadget this guy can counter by freezing it. He doesn't outright destroy stuff, but he freezes them. And that's going to be big. And this can really help, of course, Bandit and Kaid. So that's going to be a huge bonus. But the downside is he also freezes all friendly gadgets. So that is a huge downside and means like an inexperienced player playing this operator could just wreck your own defenses as well. And of course, you can also work well with Solus or Pulse. And I would say Solus is actually the better choice because of the impact grenades, because with Pulse, your nitro cell is going to get frozen, not be as useful. But with impacts on Solus, you're not going to have to worry about that. And I guess any operator with the impacts could work here if you're able to see the frozen footprints above. Now let's talk counters. And honestly, I don't think there's really any strong counters against this operator. I thought that maybe the way it was gonna work is it would make like a solid sheet of ice on both sides of the reinforced wall. So you can maybe blast it and take away the ice or something like that. But no, this just is a kind of frost effect that you cannot remove unless you can get to the canister. And then if you can shoot it or blow it up, it'll go away. But I don't think you're gonna to find too many opportunities to do that. And then effects like Finca and stuff like that don't remove the icy effect. And every single gadget that we tested got frozen. If it's something that is physical that you put down, it gets frozen. This includes drones. If you drive your drone into the ice effect, it will switch off. You get an old school switch off effect on the screen and it will be off until the ice effect goes away. Then you can get back on the drone. And it'll also freeze Ram's mini tanks as well. Just everything so electrical mechanical all gets frozen of course it also slows down the attackers significantly when i was first playing with them i didn't feel like it slowed them down much but the more i played the more i realized it really is slowing you down it's very much kind of on par with a malusi slowing effect now there is some specific stuff i want to talk about so there's an issue which i think is a bug anyway that causes some uh, maverick holes to get sealed back up when they get frozen which i don't think is supposed to happen then there's one that i'm not sure if it's deliberate or not and that is if you get a call from dockaby as a defender and you walk into the ice it gets disconnected like a mute jammer would now that's probably because some of the effects are just being copied over from mute to the new operator but also it does kind of make some sense. You are kind of literally freezing and all the gadgets get frozen. So presumably your phone would actually kind of switch off at that point. So it may well be intentional. And then also when I do talk about this freezing gadgets, it does not destroy any of them. Every single one of them just kind of pauses their duration. So even Gridlock's tracks will stop deploying once they're frozen, but then continue afterwards. And I am a bit worried that this guy is going to have a lot of bugs because there's the effect, there's how he impacts all the different gadgets. There's definitely already quite a few bugs, but of course this is early access and we'll have the test server to hopefully kind of clean that stuff out. But I am worried because of course this is Rainbow Six Siege, that there might be some pretty big bugs with this guy. And I'll also say that to be honest, he does have synergy with defenders, but I think he's actually detrimental to his teammates most of the time. Uh, and you really do need like super good coordination because for instance, let's say you're freezing a hard wall that's getting a uh, thermite charged. You will freeze the whole lot and it also stops Bandit and Kaid's effects. It kind of insulates it from the electricity. So the actual uh, thermite charge doesn't get taken out immediately. You need to wait for the actual ice to go away. Then what will happen is your electrics come back online and zap the charge. And even if you place a brand new one down, even if the Kaid charge is not actually frozen and far enough away, you will still not electrify that wall while it's frozen. It definitely seems to insulate it from the electrical effects. So using this guy to his full potential is all about coordinating with your teammates. He's not going to be as powerful as solo queue. I think he's still going to be potentially a lot of fun, but definitely as a team or at least as a duo, 
you're going to be far more potent. Then there's also the footprints that are left behind by the ice. So if you walk onto this thing on a destructible surface, you'll leave behind footprints which show up on the top and the bottom. So if you're underneath and you're looking up, you can actually see these footprints get made by people walking in the ice, which makes them potentially a little bit of a pulse as well. But if you throw a nitro cell up there to blow someone up, it's just going to get frozen and you cannot detonate it. Another reason why maybe impact grenades on Solus is going to be better than using nitro with this guy. So yeah, moving on to conclusion now, this guy is fun. He is very different from any other operator in the game. You can kind of say, like I've said in this video, that he's a reverse Goyu. He kind of has like mute effects in there. He has kind of a Malusi impact in there too. But this guy is actually extraordinarily unique does some things we've never seen before and I think is going to be a whole new way to play the game. Whether it ends up being powerful or not, we'll have to wait and see. But really just a good operator and uh, hats off to developers for this one. Hopefully they'll be able to fix all the bugs that we've seen with them. But if they can do that, he's going to be just awesome to play. Metal closing. Let's go! Hey, it's well played. Frozen through the wall. Yeah, you could totally oh, you hear did? them breathing as well. It's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. That's dope. Well played.